Hello and welcome uh, to this new tutorial. Many of our users have discovered Motul LMS during this COVID-19 responses. While Moodle does provide a very sturdy and very robust and comprehensive platform for online classes, examinations and other things, the user interface is quite new for many people and particularly for faculty members across different disciplines uh, adapting themselves to designing a course on Moodle is pro often proving to be the first hurdle because if you go by the default uh, options it will just create a blank course which will say announcements and then there's topic one, topic two, topic three, topic four. And the faculty members are often slightly at a loss to understand what to, what goes in where or how it goes in. So typically the best practice around Moodle is to create course shells. That is a generic course outline for the kind of courses your institute is running and uh, use that to kind of seed a new course. So instead of having like a blank page, the user is actually able to have that outline in front of her and uh, then either extend it, modify it, or just make copy or duplicate parts of it and extend it further. So things become a lot easier that way. So that's exactly what we are going to do here. Now here uh, in this particular case, as you can see here, uh, right now we are just dealing with the undergraduate courses. There is computer science, there is design, that is DS, there is electronics and communications engineering, there is uh, mechanical engineering and there is natural sciences. So. As you can see, we are all uh, we are dealing here, here with odd semesters. So semester one, three, five, seven, and so on and so forth. There are open elective, that's the elective courses. There are uh, discipline courses or the core courses that's kind of mandatory for a particular uh, stream. For example, say mechanical engineering that you must uh, the mandatory papers that you must do. So, so far only 20 have been added manually. First of all, uh, we have prepared a spreadsheet in a CSV format by which we will be in bulk up, uh, adding this 90, 90. Yeah, we are going to add 90 courses at one go. Okay, so as you can see, this is our category path setting. So under uh, undergraduate courses, this is natural sciences, mechanical engineering, CSE design, and the semester under which this particular course will get created. There is start date, there is end date. Format is topics. In some of the cases, we have used uh, tags for easy searching, and uh, enrollment uh, method will be manual, and primary enrollment uh, role will be a student. So whoever we add. Uh, as a user, enroll user, by default the option will be of that of a student. Will be by default they'll be a uh, registered student. So there is this, yeah, so there is this uh, 90 courses, we are going to batch upload them. Now, before we do that, we have done something else. Uh, I mentioned about the shell course. So let's take a look at what exactly is a shell course and uh, how it works so site administration now before we uh, go in here um, just log out and, um, and just show you something here on just on a side note so there is this uh, larger categories there is this uh, undergraduate courses and pg courses right and nothing else you can see so let's log in uh, we'll just understand in a minute why I just logged out and logged back in so site administration courses manage courses and categories okay now 
here, if you take a look at it, there is this undergraduate courses, there is PG courses, and there is also this e-learning resources. This is also a category, but as you can see here, the visibility is uh, turned off, which means it is not visible to outside users. Okay, so we can see it here. And uh, this is where we have our shell course. So the UG course template, shell course, uh, course shell template for UG courses for this institution. Uh, so let's view the template. Let's understand what there is. Yeah. So here we have uh, an introduction section. So about the course, this the faculty member will be able to edit. You can just edit it. Uh, name of the faculty, number of students who are enrolled, uh, and the number of credits this course will earn a student when they complete this. Here is a section for course material. Add your course material here. can be topic-wise, date-wise, lecture-wise. Example materials will be links to PPTs, PDFs, doc, docx, uh, Excel videos, etc. When you add and upload your material here, please remove this text, which is here only as an instructional boilerplate. So you can actually remove this text when you actually add actual material to this. Okay. Then the next section is online lectures. So we have given just two dummy URL links. So you can just edit it, turn on. You can always turn editing on and uh, simply change the name, change the URL, and then go for edit settings from here, okay? And uh, change the URL to which you want to point to, and you are done, right? And uh, not just that, you if you want, you can just duplicate this. So if you duplicate this, say here, see here is copy. So very easily we can, we can do this, and instead of this, we can call this like three can call this three and uh, sorting this is as easy as this so this gives a structure which a faculty member can follow so let's delete it for now we'll come we can come back to this example once the courses are created the so same with assignments quizzes uh, quiz one midterm exam quiz two end term exam textbook right so these are the this these are the examples that are there, right? So turn editing off, right? So this this is our course shell. This is our course shell, and this is uh, in a category which is our internal resources, which is not visible to outside users, right? So let's quickly get to it uh, now before we do that let's do one more thing let's copy this part this is what we're going to need this is the uh, course short name this is the short name yeah as you can see here this is the short name the short name is something we will need to refer to this by and we'll see exactly in a minute under a minute where exactly we want to we need to uh, do this so here we are on courses and upload courses we choose a file now which file do we go for uh, none other than this uh, course loader master or semester csv so choose file choose file yeah uh, no not that one master auditing yeah right so this is our odd semester upload this file okay here uh, we just need to change the csv delimiter because we are using tab separated so it is like uh, escaped t and uh, preview rows let's say 100 we have 90 so let's say we want to preview all 100 create new course only keep existing ones uh, there is no existing one in this csv file but still just to be safe uh, to preview okay so here is our list of courses, okay? List of courses. Now, here's the interesting course process. It says restore from this course after upload. 
is a enter an existing course short name to use as a template for creation of all courses remember the short name that we copied and kept in our clipboard there is a short name right so and just before we hit enter uh, let's look here see all this is blank only this with the in the parenthesis shows the number of courses okay so this once the import is done will increase tremendously so upload courses and we wait for whatever time it takes to create 90 courses done so instead of uh, doing it by hand and running the risk of uh, errors or anything okay we did this we forgot to do that that's kind of thing course created course restored course created course restored okay now here it says course already exists update not allowed so this is something we need to we'll have to check uh, check check on in later um, so that is one thing we had to we hit one error so fine we find um, also human factor engineering d s three four two a okay Okay, photovoltaics. So O E eleven C. We are noting these things down. So course total ninety. Course created eighty seven. So three are already existing. So let's do this. Continue. Okay. Now let's come here so there's nothing there is no no, no parenthesis besides this it's only two it's very, very few it's only 20 there there we see there we see we have new courses we have all courses popping up all over this right so we have courses popping up all over here all right so everything has gotten populated let's just see if we have see what can we see yeah professional course development okay you have to log in to see that's fine it's perfectly fine uh, so system administration courses let's see what that short code uh, did for us semester one introduction to profession there you see our entire shell has been recreated so as I was explaining a teacher can simply turn editing on go here and say duplicate this and edit this to add the third one Similarly, can just edit this to whatever he uh, he or she wants to change, and the link one he or she wants to point to. Right, so this can be changed very easily. So instead of having to look at a normal uh, blank Moodle course layout, we all we have outlines here like this which we can now if far more easily we can flesh it out right so that's what this uh, session was about thanks for watching and uh, have a go have a good day take care and stay safe